Welcome back guys this is Dr Apurva Popat again and in this video we'll be talking about that what's the best time to start your ESMLE preparation so let's say you enter your first year of medical school uh, it's very important to get oriented to various basic terminologies in your first year of medical school like what's aorta what's aortic dissection atherosclerosis arteriosclerosis so at least like for six months of your medical school you get oriented to basic terminologies of what's going to like what's happening in various organ systems and as soon as you enter your second year of medical school i think that's the perfect time to start your assembly step one preparation and you only become to uh, you, you only become eligible to give your assembly step one after you pass your second year of medical school so you can start your preparation of your step one right from the beginning of your second year of medical school and give off your step one examination by third first okay so this is the basic timeline which i usually recommend to the students who are just beginning their medical school that start your uh, usmle preparation uh, as soon as you enter your uh, second year of medical school and meanwhile um, in your first year of medical school you can use the standard textbooks and get oriented to some of the basic uh, concepts of biochemistry physiology and anatomy so physiology and biochemistry are very important for first year um, as far as the step 1 is concerned but it's not um, the typical biochemistry or typical physiology which is tested on a uh, usmle step 1 is the clinical physiology and the biochemistry which is tested so while you are uh, you know studying biochemistry and physiology in your first year you can just um, you know read try to read through and try to gain um, you know how you know step 1 will test the physiology and the biochemistry concepts so if you just uh, go back to my app and try to you know uh, look at the sample videos of biochemistry you'll come to know that how they clinically correlate some vitamin deficiency maybe some krebs cycle context um, so it's always uh, clinically uh, tested in step 1 so while you're studying biochemistry and physiology in first year try to uh, correlate them with the clinical concept like if you are studying cardiac cycle try to correlate that how um, some valvular pathologies will will, yeah, will be tested in in step 1 so that's what you can do in your first year and after you have gained the basic foundation of physiology so unless you understand the normal stuff unless you understand the normal cardiac cycle you cannot tell like what's going to happen in mitral stenosis or maybe aortic regurgitation so your physiology has to be very strong so they always say that like three subjects are very important for for step one it's physio patho and farm okay and by the time you are uh, like uh, entering your second year of medical medical school especially uh, after six months of your second year majority of the content which is tested it's already been taught and microbiology is also one of the important subject but the only thing i would say while you're in your second year of medical school try to correlate the content which is uh, you know in context to the clinical scenarios so once you do that i think that's the best way to you know start your preparation for your assembly and i get this uh, question asked often that uh, uh, how long does it take uh, for your step one preparation and this is a hype which is running around that okay yes step one is just pass and fail just read it quickly and just give off and you can just get ready for step two but uh, one thing is very important that unless you master your step one basic con like concepts you'll have to pay the same attention and spare your same time if you just skip that th skip those things in step one you might have to go back and look those things again while you're studying for step two so you cannot ignore step one no doubt it's pass and fail but pay equal attention to each and every detail because if you miss it now you might have to revisit the things again in step two so ideally the best time to begin again is the second first uh, you can just uh, read it for entire year prepare it watch videos do ul questions and finally give your give your step one examination by third first and you can later on give your step two examination after finishing your final year of uh, medical school that's probably in the internship or probably after the internship so this is the best timeline if you are just um, getting uh, getting to know about your assembly step one and if you are just planning your timeline that's how you can organize everything from step one to step two um, planning your match cycle and observerships and finally getting matched in the march thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any questions about how you should go about step one please feel free to drop a comment and there's a app in the play store that's your assembly strike we have just released uh, the q banks the notes and the various video uh, on demand video library and we also run a live your assembly step one course so if you just want to know about that we have link in the description below where you can download the app in play store and the ios um, 
So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much.